All right, guys, welcome back to uh, It's Thaw Farm Sim 22. Um, so, la the end of last episode, we had uh, hauled, hauled off the lumber and made a little bit of cash off it. Um, and we were able to feed our chickens. They're still doing pretty good. Uh, the grass is at its first stage of growth. You know, this will be winterized. This has to, this will go dormant for the winter and then we can harvest it next year. But, uh, I thought we would go ahead and move into December. Um, we may be skipping a couple months this episode because, you know, we're kind of running out of stuff to do. Uh, contracts are just the corn and stuff still. Sugar beet. Uh, field five sugar beet. It's just uh, it's a time-consuming process, even though it's only $500. What does Field 5 look like? Field 5, where'd you go? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, it's actually one of the larger fields on the map. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing Sugar Beet right now. We damn near could plow every field in, in, on the map. That wouldn't be bad if we would have held on to that plow, but fertilizing field seven. It's got to be right here somewhere. Oh, yeah, way up here. That one wouldn't take too long. It's about the same size as our uh, field 31. If you go all the way out there. I mean, it's probably not that far, to be honest with you. But it's only worth a thousand dollars. Eleven fifty-four. Yeah, I'd rather just move on and focus on our. Uh, on our stuff. Okay. Oh. Okay, I was wondering how you get the, the help menu up quick. So it's F1. Alright. I'll forget it in five minutes, but that's good to know. So let's go ahead and move on. So we are around $14,000. Let's see what it costs. Yeah. A little over $1,000 a day. Releasing fees and... Oh, it's snowing. And I'm stuck on the... Almost seemed like I was up in the roof. Let's see how much food our chickens used. So they burnt through about 350 liters of a uh, feed. And I have a feeling the majority of this 
crop is going to end up in our chicken in our chicken coop so yeah it looks like we're going to be making the majority of our money right now off of silage grass is still growing it may have gone dormant too darn it doesn't look like it's grown very much well I guess the only thing we can do is I had some idea of what I wanted to do this episode but I was going to, like I said, move on a couple months. But if the grass is dormant, we could definitely take down a couple more trees and haul those. guys we got them all loaded strapped and hooked up let's head to all right we gotta go this way now the lumber yard we had to go right and turn just after the store I believe off we don't really need them now looks like that log is floating to stop snowing um, I was hoping to be able to cut the grass I, I I honestly don't remember from the other series if I had the ice where I cut grass in December and stuff maybe it had already matured a couple months beforehand but after we get these logs taken up and uh, get back to the yard um, maybe we'll skip into January and see what that brings us I know the crop ain't going to be ready but alright I think I don't remember now Yeah, we had to turn here. Because if I went any f further, then we got... Then I uh, had a problem. I know this is the road... This is the road that we took uh, 
to try to take the bales of silage. Come on, dude's far. You can do it. So I got a total of four trees on here. Um, I made that little path, so I might... I just put some like tracks in there that way we know exactly where it is um, something else that need to try to find a small grain silo so we could start using it because that uh, those soybeans they're not gonna be I don't think we could sell those to like June at the earliest guys here we are back up at the uh, sawmill um, wasn't that hard to find this time now that I'm learning the map so let's get this over in the cell point and see how much money we made I think it was right around the corner here so Kind of funny, we ended last episode selling wood and we started this one doing the same thing. Ten grand, almost ten and a half for uh, four trees. Not bad. Little trailers come in handy. All right. Let's sneak through the stacks of trees here. A decent uh, fields up here. Like that one's pretty good size and fairly flat. I believe it's all grass, or is that canola? It's hard to tell. But hopefully, at uh, some point in this series, we'll uh, have some up here. Maybe we'll even have a second farm up here somewhere. Alright guys, once again we're back at the yard. Um, yeah, speaking of farm yards, the, uh, this one needs to have a couple additions to it. Like I said, a grain silo. Probably be good somewhere in this area. Or maybe even over here by the trailers. We don't need a huge silo, but... You know, I, like I said, once we get ready to start harvesting this, we haven't sold that, and we start running into problems. Let's just check real quick. Barley... We can't harvest till September, October. Um... Then the best price for soybeans is going to be July. So, yeah, I mean, we'll sell it before 
we have to harvest. So now is, but if we need to do any contracts next year, yeah, you know, let's just check to see how much, uh, I don't know. Silos. I did download some cheap ones. I downloaded this one. 10,000. Oh, I may have not activated all the mods. Yeah, but this one isn't very big. And it... Kind of fits the map. Oops. Ah. I didn't want to buy that. Darn it. I was trying to rotate the camera. <laughs> All right, shnikes. Well, let's get out and check out our new silo that I didn't want to buy. I mean, I was thinking about buying it, but and that's kind of where I wanted to put it. Ay, caramba. Well, it looks good. Like I said, it kind of fits the map. I didn't see how much the actual construction cost was on it. it said 10,000, but and it didn't look like it altered the land too much. Oh well, I guess we got a silo now. I would have rather used the money immediately to purchase a mower or something, but Oh well. Let's uh jump in here, get the tractor parked. We'll pretend like I wanted to do that. Wonder if I can pull the screen trailer with the weight. Might as well dump our stuff in it in our brand new silo. Definitely didn't like that, did it?
Yeah, but at least we'll get to store the grain for the chickens. So. Wasn't a total. Wasn't a total loss. start parking the trailers like this kind of a good little uh, good little platform for it yeah I eventually want to landscape this uh, in front of this tree beside the uh, chickens um, might be able to get some maybe sheep in there uh, probably put a little shed maybe over there beside the house store our equipment and eventually if you know as we grow and get some more fields we can probably encroach in that field a little bit to expand the farmyard um, depending on our, on our, uh, grass, hay, and silage needs in the future, might even use that for, uh, grass, along with the, uh, grass field. Maybe put a small shed right, you know, between the uh, forks and the weight or the bags. one reason it's a good good to save the games after you do certain things that way if you accidentally build a, a grain silo you can delete it or you can go back and change your or just restart your game after saving but because I hadn't saved it we would have had to redo all that wood or all the trees again and I just didn't feel like going through that. Alright, let's go check our grass. We'll forget we built you. But you will come in handy. So where was my pass through? Right here. Yeah, it looks like it's grown a little bit, but it's it's definitely grown slower than it should. Um, yeah, it hasn't grown very much. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, the leaves have almost completely fallen off some of the trees. It's kind of cool. And now I'm stuck in them. I just want to come down here and see where that road goes real quick. Since we don't have a ton else to do right now. Yeah. I was talking about that bridge in the last episode. I think we would just utilize this bridge. I think this area would make the most sense to buy our first expansion field. Um, that one's twenty eight thirty two. This looks like it might be grass. Um, that one's grass for sure. Here's our grass field. Actually, 119 would really make the most sense. 48,000. Or 27. Yeah, I think we should focus on... Like our first big field, I think we could go with one of these. But our first expansion field. Yeah. Even 114. I just don't like that. Uh, this area here, I think it's hilly and there's that guardrail. So it'd be hard to expand into it. But... Let's just jump back to one of our vehicles. I'm going to check the harvest on the grass again. Oh, yeah, I see. So we have till March before we can start harvesting again. Yeah, we're literally at a uh, at a stalemate with the uh, growing seasons, aren't we? So it's right here. Let's go ahead and do that uh, painting real quick.
All right, well. It kind of looks like a little road through there. Yeah, we'll have to run over logs and stuff, but... That gives us a little clearing so we don't have to go all the way around. Ties into this road fairly decent. have all these trees over here it's just a really hilly area and it would cost a lot to uh, landscape that in the usable field but here though if we bought this field we could expand we could actually just tie these two fields together yeah then we interrupt our or uh we would eliminate our road right. yeah this wouldn't be a bad field take down a few well then we got all these logs I'll have to try to remember how to get rid of the logs. We've already increased our chicken count by 25. And they burned through like another 500 liters of uh, feed. So yeah, we're going to probably need to put another 3,000 liters in there at least before we can harv before I am, we're probably going to run out of that, even another 3,000 before we get this harvested. like asphalt we put dirt over it so yeah we'll paint all this back to asphalt once we get a little bit more money um where's that gravel yeah that's gravel that looks like concrete but yeah i mean it's gonna take a bit um to be able to get everything landscaped and get our buildings in here One thing at a time, we gotta be able to make some money, so. Looks like our, uh. Next year's gonna be full of contracts. So we just don't have enough to do to keep the income coming in. Alright, guys, it, it should start getting busier and more entertaining you know like i said we just i don't want to 
just burn through months, but right now we we're, we just don't have a choice. So let's go ahead and end this episode here, and I'll bring you guys back in February next month. All right, I appreciate you watching, and you know I know it was a kind of a boring episode, but. This is farm life. This is farm life. Alright, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.